Hi everyone, my name is Alfie Hewitt. I'm a wheelchair tennis player and usually right now I would be out competing. Since we're in lockdown, access to training facilities are very limited. I've teamed up with Owen Mitchell to share with you guys what it is I try and do on a regular basis to keep active. Now, as you may know, this isolated period is very, very tough to keep maintaining that mental health and wellbeing. I believe that exercising is vital in achieving that. Keep healthy and stay safe. This exercise is the tricep extension. Now, to be able to do this exercise, I've got a resistant band. You can also use something else like a dumbbell or a free weight, um, a man-made item around the house. Um, to do this, I recommend putting your elbow in a bit of a 90 degree angle, scratching the back um, kind of your shoulder blade and extend upwards. I would do that around 15 to 20 times. It's not meant to be a strength exercise. Um, once again, it's just a bit of conditioning, the triceps, it's a very important muscle group, especially when in a chair, to be able to push around the court. It's the main muscle group that we use. Um, and I do this for every single warm-up that I do. Now for a simple core exercise to do in a chair, I recommend doing side bends. So for me, I use my bottom part of the rim as a bit of a gauge to touch. Um, pretty simple, keep a good posture, lean to one side, touch the, well, I would touch the bottom of the rim go both sides and I would do that 10 each side so you're looking at 20 side bends in total three to five sets this exercise is lateral raises with a bit of a twist so what I do is I do 30 raises 10 knuckles outwards 10 thumbs pointing outwards and 10 pinkies out upwards it's a bit of a shoulder burner the idea behind it is to get a bit of strength and stability within the shoulders. Now I'm using 2K dumbbells right now. If you don't have any dumbbells, then anything around the house that's pretty light, for example, a bottle of water would hopefully do the job. This exercise is a shoulder press. Now I'm using a medicine ball for this. You can use free weights, you can use whatever is um, sufficient enough around the house. For me, you wanna keep a strong core as best as possible. You want to get the shoulder in a 90 degree angle and press up. I would do that around 10 to 12 times. I mean, this is a very light um, weight, so you could probably go further. If you want a bit more strength, the heavier you go. Uh, just swap arms, do the exact same thing. Um, once again, I would do that around three to five sets. For another core killer, I'm going to show you how to do an adaptive Russian twist in a chair. Now, I'm doing it in a sports chair, so it's going to move side to side. So if you're in a day chair, I would probably recommend putting on the brakes. Once again, have a free weight. I've got a dumbbell. You may not even need to use any sort of weight. It can just be your body weight. Idea is obviously to go with the ball side to side. Engaging that core, making your head go with the ball. Doing it, I, I would usually do it around 30 times, so 15 each side and repeat it three or four times. This exercise is a fast back row. Now, as you can see, I do have a resistance band. If you don't have one at home, you can use a free weight or anything around the house. Um, the only advice that I would give if you do have a free weight is to keep the forearm uh, in, a, in that kind of 90 degree angle when you go and pull back in the row position. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull back very, very fast 15 times. You can find your range. And you wanna do it on a 15 second rolling clock. So I would go 15 times as quick as I can, and then the next 15 seconds, and the next 15 seconds. This drill is all about quick hands, seeing the ball early, and reactions. In order to do this, you will need a partner, a companion. Um, I'm gonna be facing that direction. Partner is gonna simply say left or right, whatever direction they tell me to go, I will turn. As I'm turning, they will throw the tennis ball. It can be any sort of ball, just a ball that you can actually throw and catch. I will catch it, I will throw it back, and we'll do that normally around 10 to 12 times. This drill is a great exercise to do before matches, warm-ups. It really helps me get my eye in. Left.
right?